Samuel Lloyd, this iconic chess composer, born about uh, 180 years ago, something like that, in Philadelphia. He's a real champ, this guy. I had many of his puzzles in my channel before, and here's another one. White to move and checkmate in three moves. This pawn is going down, which is pretty obvious. Otherwise, we could have just taken here with checkmate, but we cannot. So we have to do something here to checkmate back in three moves. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can find it on your own. And when you return, I will show you all variations. Go ahead. All right, I'll come back. So the first thing we have to consider here is the stalemate threat. If it was Black's turn now, it would have been a stalemate. So we have to do something to enable him to move. So let's look at our knight first. What can we do with this? Well, there's only one move we can do and allowing black to do something after that. And that is knight c1. So let's see what that happens. Well, if he goes here or here, then it's uh, pretty obvious. We are actually threatening checkmate here. But black will give a check on a3. And if we move away our king, well, then he can escape with his king, so it's not good. If we go towards it, then we block the square that we wanted to use for our checkmate, and black will simply go back. And if we go straight up, we're still uh, blocking the king to come out, and we're still threatening checkmate. Well, the problem is he can simply go back, and that's a check again. So it's a tempo move, and we will not get us anywhere so we cannot move the knight okay then let's look at the king we can do some moves here but if we do a simple move like king b3 well it's a check it's a stalemate as i said so the only move we can do no it's two moves that we can do to enable black to do something first is just to move away our king and let black get his king out but that is a really bad mistake because now he will be able to promote his uh, pawn and actually he can save a draw here. We don't have anything left after this. This looks interesting though. King c1. It looks like a possible solution, but it's really not. <clears throat> it is Black, Black's turn here and he has three possible moves with his knight. Two of them will lead to a checkmate in two moves, but the third one doesn't. So let's look at this. This will be a checkmate because we will not take it with either the king or the rook. We will simply leave it like that and play knight d4 instead. And that knight will come to b3 the next move with checkmate, regardless of back puts his knight there or not. If he doesn't, he has to move away and it will be a checkmate. So that's a bad move for back. And Knight a3 is also a bad move because of the same variation. We will just play to d4 and we will checkmate here or possibly here next move. But black can defend against this and he will play a nice little move, knight c3. Threatening both the rook and the knight. And the problem is we cannot take it because of the stalemate. So if we move away somewhere with the rook or something, well, he will simply take our knight with the check and then be able to put the knight in between. Or he could have also uh, played his knight to b1, and it would have been checkmate in four moves, not three. Okay. And if we just ignore this and try the same thing with playing knight d4 with a checkmate here and here and let him take our rook, well, he's not going to be that stupid. Instead, he's going to use his knight move to give a check here. And if we move away, he can still put his knight in between and it's a checkmate, but in four moves, not three. Okay, so now for the right move, we have to move our rook. And of course, we cannot move it in the first rank. It's still a stalemate. We can move it away all the way up, but it's not doing any good there. We want the rook to be able to come to a2. 
and the only move we can do is play rook to d2 that is the winning move checkmate in three because we are threatening the king here and the checkmate first look what happens if it takes our rook then we can play knight c1 or d4 we can actually choose let's play knight c1 we will get it to b3 the next move with checkmate again black is covering it now but he's in Zugzwang. he has to move it and then we will play knight b3 so he cannot take our rook <clears throat> due to that well it's going to be checkmate in three moves in all other aspects also if we place check here then we move the king to b3 and now if he goes back then we have the checkmate if we place the uh, knight in between then we have a checkmate here the king can be moved also but still it's a checkmate with rook d1 and the same goes if he moves away the knight somewhere it's rook d1 checkmate and final line here if black plays knight c3 after we play a rook to d2 well we can do many things we can ignore it play the knight to c1 or d4 d4 and then just get here or we can also just simply take it and force his king out and then give a checkmate like this so the key move from the beginning beautiful uh, rook sacrifice rook d2 that's the key move in this uh, little puzzle by samuel lloyd hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and see you back at my channel anytime bye bye